Charlize Theron, the epitome of South African talent and resilience. But behind the glitz and glamour lies a story of triumph over tragedy. At just 15 years old, Charlize witnessed her mother's act of self-defense, forever changing the course of their lives. Stay tuned as we uncover the untold story behind Charlize Theron's rise to stardom and the luxury that surrounds her today. Although it might seem as if she lives a charmed life, it didn't always start that way. When Charlize was 15 years old, she watched as her mother shot her father in self-defense. My father was an alcoholic all my life. He just shot through the door three times and neither one of those, none of those, those bullets ever hit us. In self-defense, she ended the threat. Charlize was born in the small town of Benoni, Gauteng, to Gerda and Charles Theron, who were road constructionists. In an interview, Charlize said that she didn't have much to do in Benoni and there was no movie theater, so she watched everything at the drive-in. We didn't have movie theaters till I was about 14. Charlize grew up in an Afrikaans-speaking home. However, she's fluent in English. In 2022, she got into some hot water after she said in an interview that Afrikaans is a dying language and only about 44 people speak it. Many Afrikaans-speaking South Africans lamented this and criticized the star for her views. She was 16 when she won a modeling contract at a competition in Italy. She then moved with her mother to Milan to pursue this career path. She modeled for a year around Europe before settling in the United States. Charlize's aspiration was to be a ballet dancer. She enrolled in the Joffrey Ballet School in New York City. However, this career journey was cut short due to a knee injury. According to Charlize, she was depressed and had no plan B until her mother suggested that she go to Los Angeles and try to become an actress. Her mother bought her a one-way ticket and gave her $300. And it was when Charlize was trying to cash out her checks that she was discovered in a bank. And this guy stepped in and he was very kind and kind of helped something. She started out in bit roles in films like Children of the Corn 3, Urban Harvest. Her breakthrough role, however, was as Mary Ann, the wife of Keanu Reeves' character in The Devil's Advocate, opposite Al Pacino in 1997. This led to high-profile lead and supporting roles in acclaimed films such as Mighty Joe Young, The Cider House Rules, and Reindeer Games. Many people don't know that Charlize appeared on the May 1999 cover of controversial magazine Playboy. However, they used photographs taken of her a few years earlier when she was an unknown model. Charlize unsuccessfully tried to sue Playboy for publishing the pictures without her consent and has been fierce about controlling her brand. We all remember the iconic moment of Charlize holding her Oscar, but how did that come about? In 2003, the actress completely transformed to play the role of serial killer Eileen Warnos in the film Monster. It was such a powerful portrayal that film critic Roger Ebert wrote that was one of the greatest performances in the history of cinema. Charlize walked away with Golden Globe and Screen Actors Guild Awards, and she became the first South African to win an Academy Award for Best Actress. I'm going to thank everybody in South Africa, my home country. <laughs> she stayed true to her word and brought the Oscar home to South Africa, where she met former president Nelson Mandela. I love you so much. Well, I love you too, you know. This was not the end for Charlize as she went on to be nominated two more times for Oscars. In 2005 for playing Josie Ames in North Country and in 2020 for playing Megyn Kelly in Bombshell. When it comes to business, Charlize Theron doesn't just shine on the silver screen. She's also a savvy entrepreneur who has made her mark in the film industry. In a bold move, she established her very own production company, aptly named Denver and Delilah Productions. This powerhouse company has been the driving force behind many of Charlize's acclaimed films, including the critically acclaimed Young Adult and the action-packed thriller Atomic Blonde. But her influence extends beyond her own projects. Theron has also ventured into the realm of comedy, producing the wildly popular murder mystery film series, starring none other than Adam Sandler and Jennifer Aniston. Although she is not in a public relationship now, she has been romantically linked with celebrities such as Craig Bearco, Stephen Jenkins from the band Third Eye Blind, actors Stuart Townsend and Sean Penn. However, she often talks about her most powerful relationships being with her two daughters, Jackson and August. She also has an incredibly close relationship with her mother, Gerda. My mom? But wait, there's more to Charlize Theron than just her on-screen talents and business ventures. She's not just about the glitz and glamour of Hollywood. Charlize is also a philanthropist with a heart of gold. She started the Charlize Theron Africa Outreach Project in 2007. This organization supports African youth in the fight against HIV and AIDS. She has raised over $6 million to support organizations working on the ground in sub-Saharan Africa 
In 2022, she received the Elizabeth Taylor Commitment to End AIDS Award. She was also named a UN Messenger of Peace in 2008, and she has also fought for women's rights and for LGBTQ communities. In addition to her work as an actress, Charlize was also named as a spokesperson for Dior's J'adore perfume in 2004, and as a brand ambassador for Breitling in 2018. Now, you might be wondering just how luxurious Charlize Theron's life truly is. Well, prepare to be amazed. Despite her humble beginnings, Charlize has risen to incredible heights of success and fame. Since her memorable Oscar win, she has not only solidified her status as a Hollywood A-lister, but also as one of the highest earning actresses in the industry. In fact, it's been reported that as of 2023, Charlize Theron's net worth stands at a staggering $170 million. So, you can only imagine the kind of lavish lifestyle she leads. Charlize owns a home in the Hollywood Hills, which she bought in 2007. The house is 2,350 square feet and cost $2.5 million. It was the site of a department store in the 1920s. Her luxurious home boasts an open floor plan. Every detail has been curated to create an atmosphere of elegance and sophistication. In 2022, Charlize sold a Spanish-style bungalow in Beverly Grove, Los Angeles for $2 million. Built in 1925, it consisted of two bedrooms and two bathrooms. And then she bought another home in Los Angeles. It was reported that she paid $2.64 million for a contemporary-style three-bedroom, two-and-a-half-bathroom house in Studio City. It was built in 1941 and has a completely modern design with wood and charcoal interiors. It seems playing a speedster in the Italian job inspired Charlize as her garage is filled with different types of vehicles. Let's take a look inside. Even amidst her luxury lifestyle, Charlize Theron proves that she values sustainability and efficiency. Behold her eco-friendly wheels, a 2011 Toyota Prius Hybrid. With a price tag of approximately $22,880, this vehicle offers great fuel economy. It has a 1.8-litre four-cylinder engine, which is infused with a hybrid system. It can also attain 0 to 60 miles per hour in 10.8 seconds and has a peak speed of 104 miles per hour. No one can say that she does not have style. Charlize owns a 2019 Land Rover Range Rover Evoque. The set her back $42,795 and is known to be a beast on the road. It has a 2-litre turbocharged 4-cylinder engine with a power of 234 horsepower. The Evoque can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.5 seconds and has a top speed of 150 miles per hour. Charlize also cruises around in a black 2011 Lexus RX450H hybrid. This is a luxurious vehicle known for its comfort and tech features. It has a 3.5 litre V6 engine. It can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 7.9 seconds and has a top speed of 112 miles per hour. You can buy it for about $49,960. Another SUV in her collection is her 2016 BMW X5, which costs a whopping $57,995. It has a 3-litre six-cylinder engine, which has about 300 horsepower. It can achieve 0 to 60 miles per hour in 6.5 seconds and has a maximum speed of 156 miles per hour. She also has the magnificent 2016 Audi S7. This fast and thrilling ride costs about $84,825. It has a 4-litre twin-turbocharged V8 engine, which has an output of 450 horsepower. It can run 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds, and it has a top speed of 155 miles per hour. And can you guess what her most expensive car is? It's a BMW 7 Series sedan, which costs about $87,795. It is a spacious car that is good for meetings and riding from appointment to appointment. It has a 3-litre turbocharged 6-cylinder engine that accumulates 335 horsepower. It can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.3 seconds and has a top speed of 130 miles per hour. Who wouldn't want to ride around in one of these? From her stunning homes to her impressive car collection, Charlize knows how to indulge in luxury. And the best part? The journey is far from over. Join us as we keep our eyes peeled for the next edition to Charlize Theron's lavish lifestyle. Because when it comes to luxury, she always delivers. That's it for this episode of The Lux Life. Join us again next time when we'll be looking at another who's who. Like and subscribe. See ya!